triangle is a plane figure or a polygon with three straight sides one two three three vertices one two three and three angles one two three an equilateral triangle is a triangle that has three equal sides for example in this triangle ABC side AB equals side BC equals side CA is equal to 10 centimeter as we know that angles opposite to equal sides of a triangle are equal and in this figure angle C angle A and angle B are the angles opposite to the equal sides AB BC and CA so angle C is equal to angle A equals to angle B is equal to X degree we can get the value of X applying that sum of the angles in triangle is 180 degree so we can write that C plus A plus B is equal to 180 degree which gives us 3x is equal to 180 degree and we can get that C is equal to A equals B equals 60 degree so we get that in an equilateral triangle all the angles are equal to each other and they are 60 degree in an isosceles triangle two sides are equal to each other for example in this triangle DEF side DE equals side DF is equal to 4 centimeter DE is equal to DF equals 4 centimeter which gives us that the opposite angles angles opposite to the equal sides DE and DF e are E, F and E respectively so F equals E on the other hand a scalene triangle is a triangle a scalene triangle is a triangle that has three unequal sides which gives the three unequal angles as well because angles opposite to unequal sides are also unequal for example in this triangle XYZ the lengths of the sides XY, YZ and ZX are 4, 2 and 5 respectively. So XYZ is a scaling triangle. Right angle triangle is a triangle where one angle is equal to 90 degree. Obtuse angle triangle is a triangle where one angle is greater than 90 degree. An acute angle triangle is a triangle where all three angles are less than 90 degree theorem of Pythagoras states that the sum of squares on legs of a triangle of a right triangle is equal to the square on the hypotenuse for example in this triangle this angle is 90 degree so the opposite side of the angle is C which is the hypotenuse of the right triangle on which the square has an area of C square and the squares on the legs of the right triangle have areas of B square and A square respectively so we can write from the statement that B square plus A square is equal to C square which helps us to determine the unknown value of X applying the Pythagorean theorem because we can write from this figure that 20 square plus X square is equal to 29 square which results in X is equal to 21 Pythagorean triple Pythagorean triple is a set of integers a B C such that a square plus B square is equal to C square there are 16 primitive Pythagorean triples with hypotenuse less than or equal 100 for example 3 4 5 5 12 13 8 15 17 and so on 
For example, in this right angle triangle, the two legs are 3 and 4, and the hypotenuse is 5, and 3, 4 are the Pythagorean triples such that 3, 4, 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square. So if we know the Pythagorean triple 8, 15, 17, then from this figure, we can get the unknown value of A because one of the legs is 8, the hypotenuse is 17, so the another legs will of course be equal to 15. It is to be noted that 12, 16 and 20 are not primitive Pythagorean triples because they are multiple of 3, 4, and 5. Area of triangle. We know that area of a triangle is equal to half multiplies base multiplies height of the triangle. So, we can see here that in this triangle ABC, AB equals BC equals CA is equal to A. So this triangle is an equilateral triangle where all the angles are equals and 60 degree and the lengths of the sides are 10 centimeter. And the height of the triangle is AH which is given as 5 root 3 centimeter. So area of the triangle is equal to half multiplies base BC is equal to A. multiplies the height AH which can be determined applying Pythagorean theorem in the right angle triangle AHC as AC square is equal to H AH square plus, plus HC square where HC is equal to half of BC is equal to A by 2 which results in the height of the triangle is equal to root over 3 by 2a, where a is the length of the equal sides. And so, the area of an equilateral triangle will be. So, if we apply the value in the formula, we can get the area of the triangle is equal to half multiplies 10 multiplies 5 root 3 is equal to 25 root over 3 and if we apply this formula we will get the same value root over 3 divided by 4 multiplies 10 square which is also equal to 25 root 3 centimeter square it is very important to remember this formula to deal with the math easily we can see in this figure that triangle DEF has two equal sides. That is why the triangle is an isosceles triangle where the base is equal to B is equal to 6 cm and the equal sides of the triangle have a length of 10 cm. So the area of the triangle DEF is equal to half multiplies base multiplies the height dr and we can get the value of dr applying Pythagorean formula in the right angle triangle drf which gives us the value of dr as root over 4a square minus b square divided by 2 if we imply this formula here we can get that area of an isosceles triangle is equal to root over 4a square minus b square multiplied by b by 4 where b is the base of the triangle and a is the length of equal sides so the area of the triangle def is equal to half multiplies the base multiplies the height which results in 3 root over 91 centimeter square. If we apply this formula, we can get the same value, b by 4, that is 6 by 4, 
multiplies root over 4 a square that is 10 square minus b square that is 6 square is equal to 3 root over 91 centimeter square thanks for watching perceive persevere practice do not forget to like subscribe and share thanking you from higher study prep